Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and on today's episode, we are going to be talking about the human body and the basics of the nervous system. Over the coming weeks, we are going to be breaking down the nervous system even further, ending with an in-depth look at neurogenic shock. So let's dive in and get started. The human body breaks down the nervous system into two main parts. The central nervous system, which consists of the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which is literally everything else. We will cover both of these in greater detail in later videos of this series. But as we'll discuss today, the nervous system allows your body to react to the outside environment and evaluate your body as a whole. Before we continue, make sure to answer the question of the day in the comments below. What are the two parts of the autonomic nervous system? Now, no scientist or doctor really knows how many nerves humans have in their body. However, it is safe to say the human body has hundreds of nerves and billions of neurons. The neuron is the basic cell of the nervous system. Each neuron is made up of three basic structures. The soma or body of the neuron, which houses structures like the cell nucleus and mitochondria. The axon or the message carrier of the neuron. And the dendrites or the message receiver of each neuron. When we group enough of these neurons together, they create an oval structure on the nerve called a ganglia. Think of these ganglia as a directional delay point, almost like a railroad switch. These ganglia determine which nerves to continue the messages across. Thousands of times per day, there are signals and messages traveling through your body, communicating to and from your brain. These messages tell you to move your hand off the hot plate, for instance or increase your heart rate, or even just to breathe. But how do the neurons move these messages from the brain to the correct body structure? Each neuron has an electrical charge to it. The equivalent of 100 millivolts runs through each neuron. The electronically charged messages from your brain move down the axon until they reach the axon terminals, where the electrical charged message is turned into a chemical signal called a neurotransmitter. This now chemical neurotransmitter message is sent from the axon terminals across the synapse or the space between each neuron and is received by the receptors on the dendrites of the next neuron. Here they're processed and turned back into an electrically charged message and the process begins again and again. Just think to yourself for a minute of how fast these messages must travel to perform your daily actions. Neurologists have found that a message singularly traveling from your brain down the spinal cord can reach 268 miles an hour, whereas a message traveling on your sensory nerve, say in your hand, can only travel around one mile an hour. Well guys, this is the basic building blocks of the nervous system. Make sure to join us next week when we continue to break down the central nervous system. In the meantime, stay safe out there, and I will see you guys in the next video.